It is a situation that has sparked controversy in Orlando for years, and now the city of Orlando is changing its panhandling laws to comply with some recent U.S. Supreme Court rulings. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis is live in downtown Orlando this afternoon talking about what the city is planning to change. And Nadine, right now the city has designated boxes where people can panhandle. That's right. I'm actually standing in one of them right here outside of the Amway Center. There are 27 boxes just like this around downtown. Now, it is a part of a 2010 law meant to keep panhandlers within these boxes. Uh, but Mayor Buddy Dyer says these boxes have got to go, and that's because some recent U.S. Supreme Court rulings across the country have ruled certain panhandling laws unconstitutional. Blue dotted lines make up a box where Gary Lohman has to stay in if he wants to solicit for help. They're here to, for you to legally ask for help instead of walking around pestering tourists and making a fool you know what I mean. Which he did once looking for food, but he ended up in jail. And the Bible says to ask and you should be saying, well, what about when you ask around here, you go to jail. If you're not in one of these blue boxes, you're in jail. So the city of Orlando will vote Monday to take these blue boxes away. The mayor's office says recent U.S. Supreme Court rulings and other cities have ruled broad panhandling laws unconstitutional, saying it violates a person's free speech, which means if voted into law, panhandlers and people down on their luck, like Loman here, can ask you for money anywhere in Orlando. But they can't do so aggressively like this. The city will vote on another ordinance, which will crack down even harder on people who solicit aggressively, like at ATMs, at restaurants, or in the middle of the road. That's to ensure the safety and security for everyone. I'm not going to bother you, harass you on the street. Uh, I think it's just a safe, legal way. And so, of course, many of the panhandlers I spoke with today, they are happy with this ordinance that would allow them to step out of the box. However, for those who live and work downtown, they're concerned about this. We're going to hear from them. We're also going to speak to the Central Florida Coalition on the Homeless and get their reaction to this proposal in my story tonight at 530. Ladies, back to you. Nadine Giannis reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.